Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Ksenia and I make videos for people who, like myself, are going through the family-based immigration process. I'm not an immigration attorney. My videos are based on publicly available information, my own experience, and the experience of my subscribers. In today's video, I wanted to give you guys a brief overview of the steps you need to take in order to help your siblings immigrate to the US. First and foremost, you need to be aware that only US citizens can petition for their siblings. Unfortunately, at this time, green card holders cannot petition for their brothers and sisters of any age. The very first step in the entire application process is to submit an I-130 petition. This petition is the same for everybody, regardless of the type of relative you are. The U.S. citizen petitioner must submit an I-130 petition to USCIS to basically establish their relationship to the immigrant whom they want to bring to the U.S. The I-130 petition can be submitted by mail or online and you should carefully read the instructions of that form to make sure you are submitting the correct evidence. Not all siblings are eligible to submit this kind of I-130 petition, especially if you would like to petition for a step-sibling or an adoptive sibling, you definitely need to read the form instructions to see if you are even eligible uh, to petition for this type of sibling and uh, it will explain some of the conditions that you must meet in order to be able to petition them. But in short, the I-130 petition uh, will establish your connection to the relative that you want to bring to the US. But that is just the first step. The I-130 petition in itself does not typically take a long time to be approved. However, the longest part of the entire process is waiting for the availability of the green card uh, for you to be able to apply for it. In order to find out how long you have to actually wait uh, until you can begin applying for your green card, you must be familiar with the visa bulletin. The visa bulletin is posted monthly by the travel.state.gov website and on that site you will be able to see a list of different types of family preference applicants who are currently able to apply for their green cards. Here is where we need to make a distinction between immediate relatives of US citizens and everybody else. When it comes to immediate relatives of US citizens, such as unmarried children under the age of 21, spouses and parents of US citizens, those people have an unlimited number of green cards available to them every single year. And that is why they're never listed on the visa bulletin is that those people can go ahead and apply for their green card immediately after approval of the I-130 petition, if not at the same time. However, when it comes to everybody else, such as married and unmarried children of US citizens over the age of 21, and siblings of US citizens, as well as relatives of green card holders, in that case, you would need to wait until your spot in line, quote unquote, on the visa bulletin becomes uh, available. In order to find out when approximately you will be able to apply for your green card, you will need to know your priority date. The priority date will be listed on your I-130 uh, approval notice. You will use it as a guide to find out how long you will have to wait. As we can see on the visa bulletin, siblings of US citizens fall under the F4 family preference category and the priority date currently listed under the F4 category is December 2007. For some other countries such as Mexico, India and the Philippines, these wait times are even significantly longer. So what this date basically means is only those people whose I-130 petition priority date was listed as before 
or as of December 2007, can go ahead and apply for their green cards. Basically, what this means is these applicants have waited at least 15 years in order to be able to apply for a green card. So this is the one thing that I want you guys to be aware of before you begin the entire process for immigrating your sibling to the US is that the wait times are extremely long. The good news is that as a US citizen, you can petition for your sibling and their family, such as the spouse of your sibling and also your nieces and nephews. So the children of this uh, sibling that you are petitioning. The bad news is that these children must remain under the age of 21 and unmarried by the time they're able to apply for a green card. This is the bad news because in some cases, and I would assume in a lot of cases, your nieces and nephews will unfortunately turn 21 before uh, they're able to approach that date on the visa bulletin and before your brother or your sister is able to apply for a green card. So in that case, uh, those children who turn 21 at the time of the visa availability will not be able to apply for a green card and the pathway to a green card for them will probably have to be via their parents later down the line. Another question that I frequently get asked is when US citizens petition for their parents and they have minor siblings, would they be able to bring their minor siblings via the petition of their parents? And unfortunately, the answer is no. As a US citizen, you must petition separately for your relatives even your underage siblings. You cannot include your underage uh, minor siblings as derivatives on your parents' green card applications. As a US citizen, you may choose to also submit a petition for your siblings, but just be aware that the wait time will probably be close to 15 years, if not more at the time of you watching this video. Another thing I wanted to touch upon is visa overstays. And as you can see, having to wait 15 years until green card availability, a lot of people uh, will most likely have to be waiting overseas in order to apply for a green card. When it comes to immediate relatives of US citizens, visa overstays are forgiven in any case, even if they didn't have a status in the US for many years. However, when it comes to family preference applicants, so all the people listed on the visa bulletin, you need to be aware that any kind of visa overstay and any other kind of uh, violation of non-immigrant status is not automatically forgiven. Uh, for these types of relatives. So if you currently have a sibling in the US and you decide to petition for them, you need to be aware that they cannot stay in the United States for 15 plus years waiting until their green card availability without a proper status. Your sibling will have to eventually go back to their home country and wait uh, until they're spot in line and until they are able to complete consular processing. In some cases, if your siblings, of course, have tourist visas, they may be able to still travel to the US to visit you temporarily while the whole case is pending, especially since it takes such a long time. But you need to make sure that your siblings do not acquire unlawful presence in the US because that can be a deportable or even a bannable offense. So make sure that they never violate their non-immigrant status. That also includes committing crimes in the US and working without authorization. So I hope that you found this video useful. I do understand if this video was disappointing to you, uh, but it is better to be informed and not make any mistakes in this kind of immigration journey. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye!